The percussion instruments we looked at earlier do not have a pitch. They have a texture or sound effect, and those kinds of instruments are called unpitched percussion. There are hundreds of different kinds of percussion instruments all throughout the world in every single culture on the planet. It's pretty amazing actually how many different kinds of sounds we can create with things from nature, things from your own home, and things that have been designed over centuries. And some of those percussion instruments do have a pitch. They're called pitched percussion. Here's one. It's called the glockenspiel, which means play the bells. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the glockenspiel. Here's the glockenspiel. Take a look. At the bottom, the bars are longer than at the top. At the top, they're smaller. If they're longer or larger, the sound will be lower. The smaller, the higher. Listen to the glockenspiel. fun. But we play our glockenspiels sideways. Let's turn it this way. The sound of the bars is still going up and down. The lower sounds are to the left, high sounds to the right, and that allows us to move up and down in order of our pitches. Up and down. Low. I could do this all day. So let's take a look at another glockenspiel. This glockenspiel is very colorful. And this is a fun instrument we have available for our students at Little School of Music. If you like the glockenspiel, you could get one of these and play too. All of the letters are on there and all the bars are color coordinated. So it makes it a little easier for us to play and learn. Here's a familiar song you might know. When we play, you probably notice I'm using a mallet. My fingers don't work on the bars. I need this to strike the instrument. I pinch my fingers, wrap them around the mallet, keep my hands straight and use my wrist so that the ball of the mallet is bouncing on the bars. There's another pitched percussion instrument you've probably heard of before that we can look at too. It has low sounds and high sounds and sounds that we can make to go up and down, just like our glockenspiel. But the difference between it and the glockenspiel is the material it's made of. These bars are made of wood. This is a xylophone. Let's hear some low sounds. Let's hear some high sounds. Let's hear sounds that go up. And sounds that go down. The texture and timbre is different because of the wood material. Do you hear the difference between the xylophone and glockenspiel?